Hello, Pitcher Contraptions here, and today we're just taking a quick look at my John Deere 345. As you can see, I have the FD590 engine on this, which is a V18 horsepower engine. And I'm just going to show you a little bit around what this tractor's engine looks like and some, where some of the key components are. Now, first off, right up front, we have the air filter. If I take this off, you'll see your standard tractor air filter underneath. Right behind that we have our radiator, and then moving back further, our battery, and then underneath here we have our lights switch for the front headlights. It does not have rear headlights, it has reflectors on it. And then right here we have your mower deck engagement on the right side when you're driving. Back even further we have the throttle located in the very back corner here. It's kind of hard to see due to lighting. But in the very back there, you can see the throttle, at which brings us right back to the front of the tractor. So up here in the very front, you can see the throttle assembly. On my tractor, I have a custom one, so this is not the stock. This allows me to control both the throttle and the choke manually. On your regular tractor, you would have a different throttle mechanism, which I'll show you later in the video. Then moving along, you have your carburetor. Then you have your fuel pump which on this one it's actually a mechanical fuel pump so if you ever run completely out of fuel you will have to get a separate tank lift it up above the tractor refill the fuel pump for it to actually be able to run again and start up that once it has fuel in it you'll be able to pump gasoline from the back but until the fuel pump has fuel in it you won't be pumping anything or going anywhere I learned this the hard way so from the fuel pump back, we have the coolant temperature switch, which is located right here, and it runs back. I've had a little bit of engine damage on this tractor as I got it used, it burned up, and I've been fixing it. So down even further, we have our left-hand coil for the tractor's left cylinder, which is right here. And you have the cover here to take off the cylinder, and see the cylinders. Uh, you don't see the head when you take off these covers, you see the actual control mechanism for the fuel in and out and you'll see some of the you'll actually see the oil compartment as well down and underneath but then if you move over here we have our starter motor and starter solenoid and further back we have our fuel line of course running up here going to our fuel filter which if you notice is in the correct way if you ever take these off make sure they go in this way and back behind there, you have the overflow area for your engine coolant, which hooks up. Now let me come around to the other side, and I'll show you some more on the tractor. And here we are on the other side. And as you can see, we have our beautiful FD590V label. And here we have our... At area where you can add new oil to the tractor. When I got it was way overfilled, which I believe was part of the problem with it. And down here you have the drain out port for when you want to change the engine oil. Right here you have your engine oil filter. Then you have your left, or excuse me, your right hand when you're just sitting on the tractor. So it's coil to start the engine and spark the spark plug. And then up near the front of the tractor, you have your electrical circuitry for the entire mechanism. And you have the fuses here, which are for if the various circuits get over amperage, etc. Now if I come down here, you have your control foot pedals. You've got forward, reverse, and your brake. It has a parking brake set right now, so as you can see here, I have the parking brake on on this tractor to remove that. You have to push down, hang on, push down on the brake, put this down, and as you can see the parking brake is off, but I want it on, just because it's in my shed, I don't want to move it anywhere by accident. So it's back on, moves up, you get your start, engine control, your key essentially, well it is your key, never mind. But right here, you have your cruise control. You can actually set this tractor to when it's going at a certain speed to stay at that speed. And then up here, you have your throttle. Up is for fast, down is for slow. 
Now, if I, you remember correctly, I was going to, well, actually, let me show you the fuel tank. The fuel tank right here is under the seat, and that's where the fuel goes in this tractor. Pretty simple. And if you look at the back of the tractor, down underneath here, you can see your levels of where the fuel would be filled up to. Half quarter, so I'm, I'm just above half now, as you can see. And you have a trailer hitch and your manual lever for when you need to move the tractor manually. I already posted a video on that. Now let's take a look here at the component, the regular front section, which I took off for the throttle, as I promised. It is right here. This is the regular component on this tractor. It's kind of like an automatic choke control. You have your single level throttle. And then in the back here, you have a system of springs which when the throttle gets to a certain point, it'll pull the choke back and thus turn the choke on or off just for starting. But it wasn't working particularly well on this tractor. I believe there's still some issues with the carburetor I have to clean up, so I just took it off to get the tractor running for winter. And I'll be working on repairing that in future videos. But this is how your regular setup looks like for your throttle. Thank you for watching this video, and be sure to check out my other videos. And as always, have a fantastic day. Patriot Contraptions, signing out.